All right, this is going to be a quick video, but I had to do this quickly because I still see a lot of you guys on social media asking me if Diddy's on his way to Cape Verde. I had other people asking me, where is Diddy? They heard he's on the run. They had another, I had another person tell me that Diddy jumped on a jet and went to the Virgin Islands. None of that is true. None of that is true. Let's go over what exactly happened with Diddy and his jet, just so you guys can be well informed. I'm not sure if he was on his way to, I'm not sure if he was planning on going anywhere, but did he get to go? The answer is no. TMZ did an article on the 26th, two days ago now, Diddy's private jet grounded in Antigua amid federal raids. Just to let you guys know, we do have a deal with Antigua. I believe I'm saying it correctly. If you go there, they will bring you back. If you go there, they will bring you back. That is not Bali. They will ship you right back. So I don't think he would go there to hide out. I heard it's a beautiful island, so a lot of pictures. But yet again, they do have a deal with the United States being so close to the Virgin Islands. Again, I'm sure your ass will be shipped back before I even had to do the Google. But right on TMZ, you see the picture of the black jet in the back. That shit is fire. Oh my God. Fire, fire, fire. Look at that. That looks crazy. That looks like some James Bond stuff. Like, I don't know, like Batman or something. Diddy's private jet was flown to an island in the Caribbean yesterday, where the, yesterday while the feds were raiding his two homes in the States. And while he wasn't on the particular plane, you see guys, he was, you guys heard it here, he was not on the plane once again it's no less noticeable on the runway and you can see in the new shot of the aircraft check out these photos obtained by tmz showing the rap moguls all black gulfstream 5 dubbed love air oh so the name of it is love air that's fire grounded monday night at an airport right in the heart of antigua where it landed monday after traversing the u.s all the way from la that was fishy nonetheless that is fishy your house is being raided now you see one of your jets flying what was in it why did it leave what was the point of it as soon as all this was happening was there something on the jet the jet was on the runway i'm sure that the feds and the people i'm sure that the feds and the correct departments were able to look on the airplane that again is not 100 factual i'm just assuming no sign of activity near the plane law enforcement or otherwise and there's no indication anyone on board was mixed up with what was going on here in the u.s to me that's still weird too how is no one aboard mixed on mixed up with what was going on if they're on Diddy's jet. It's like, how do you just borrow someone's jet? That's crazy. Somebody asked to borrow my car. I may never speak to you again. Never mind, borrow my jet. That is just insane. Maybe it's because I'm not there yet in life, but it just doesn't make sense to me. Still, it's interesting to see, especially since we know Diddy was being held up Monday evening at Opalaka Airport in Miami, where TMZ obtained videos of him. Guys, we did react to this. A lot of people still think Diddy's on the run or Diddy's nowhere to be found. You guys, are, If you guys are subscribed to the All Seeing Camera, you would have already went over this clip with me, where you see Diddy pacing back and forward at the airport. I'll show a quick clip here. In the eyes of an angel. I guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. And then. I don't even mean to smile, but that dude's voice always gets me. Ah, they, they probably gonna wonder what's next now, huh, Diddy? Sources, and just him being behind the wall, like he's recording a creature or something, like he's out there in the wild hunting, like, nah, this is wild, this is wild. Let's make this expensive MacBook do his job. Read, baby. Sources with direct knowledge tell us Diddy was with his family when Homeland Security agents rolled up on them. And while there was certainly some questioning going on, we are told nobody was arrested, including Diddy. And our sources tell us his movements are currently not restricted either. At least not yet anyway. In other words, he's free to roam. Pictures here detained from the Opalaka airport when they ran up on him. TMZ has obtained a new photo of the moments federal law enforcement officially intercepted Diddy's party. And all you can see, you can see them all on the runway as agents are speaking to them. Unclear where Diddy might be at this point, but obviously Uncle Sam has his eyes on him. Basically saying since the raid happened since the airport they don't know where he's at currently but from everything going on right now homeland security running up on you like i told you guys before it's not like you're having the local police kick your door in homeland security is busy dealing with terrorism not only that they're also dealing with gender trafficking if you guys know what i'm saying i can't go too much into detail where we're at st if you guys know what we're saying but it's just weird to see all this happening to diddy all this all the government is willing to spend on this investigation something has to be found or something was already found that made them go deeper into the investigation to see what else they could find as we reported two different raids got on the way monday which we went over on this channel the miami star island one we saw that video and they also went into the la home as well where you guys saw a lot of those infamous those helicopter videos we went over that on this channel as well he's receiving the allegations of s of st sa firearms and more this is a quick little raid of miami that's the dock to his house Thank you. 
<laughs> You're just guilty by association. <laughs> Wild, wild thing. Right there, it is important to say Diddy has denied all wrongdoings alleged in recent lawsuits against him. Let's remember, he has not been charged with everything. All allegations, he still has not even, I don't think he's been charged with anything yet. So I know the internet's killing Diddy. It's just wild to read what we've been reading. That the stuff there is not true. Let's remember Diddy has a family, kids, people around him. That is just like, if that is true, what we've been reading about him, it is extremely sick. But guys, I wanted to just make this quick video to clear things up for you guys. I know a lot of people have been thinking Diddy's on the run. A lot of people have been thinking that he's like an evil. I seen somebody send me a picture of Diddy getting a lineup on a jet. And they're like, yo, look, he's laughing at the government right now, bro. They don't know where he's at. This nigga's getting a lineup on an airplane. Make a video about it. Like, brother, that video's old. That video is old. Trust me, I don't think we're going to see any Diddy on social media right now. If we do, I will be 100% shocked if we come back and make another video. But I do not think with all this serious stuff going on right now that we'll see anything from Diddy. Diddy's lawyers are probably telling him to stay as low as possible. Same thing for those around him. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know down below. How did you find out about everything going on? Also, does this break your heart? Like, are you also sad just being a fan of hip hop? Not even a fan of Diddy. You don't have to be a fan of Diddy. Being a fan of hip hop. Being a fan of just being a minority that made it out the hood and made it to be a billionaire and then seeing him being taken down like this like damn bro i thought you was one of those i really thought you was one of those businessmen that really made it from being an intern to running the company as a ceo those are dreams i've had because i've been an intern before so seeing people in diddy's position and where he got to Paul's in the position, Paul's in the position, but seeing where he got to and how big and how powerful he got, once again, Paul's in the big, it just inspired me. And I just hate to see it all end like this. I would never want to see the story get even worse where people are saying that this is going to get worse before it gets better. You guys let me know down below your thoughts though. How do you feel about everything going on right now? Subscribe to the channel, like the video. We are on that road to 10,000 subscribers.